for a while now, I've wanted to make a series of tutorials about how to design uh, twisty puzzles because that's what my channel is based uh, around, and it's something which I, I really enjoy doing, and I'd like to see more other people doing it. I don't think people really understand that they don't need expensive equipment or expensive software or years of experience in design school to design twisty puzzles. They can make some incredible puzzles with just their home laptop and a desktop 3D printer. So I know a lot of people have already done twisty puzzle design tutorials, um, so I wanted to do mine a little bit differently. So instead of just teaching you how to design a twisty puzzle, I'm planning on teaching you how to design a speed cube. Now the, the major difference between designing a speed cube and designing a regular twisty puzzle is each of the pieces, after you're done uh, finishing them, um, there's still a lot of work that you have to put into them to uh, make them sort of, uh, to, to make it an actual speed cube. So while I'm teaching you how to finish the pieces or how to make them um, uh, better or like add grooves or uh, take away uh, parts of material that you don't need. I can uh, teach you guys how to use different tools that you may find yourself needing to use when you're designing other twisty puzzles. So because I'm not actually making, uh, or because I'm not making just a general tutorial on how to design twisty puzzles, um, I'm gonna leave links in the description for uh, some tutorials that it would really help you to look at before you watch my tutorials. So, these aren't things which you're gonna have to watch before you uh, watch my tutorial, but if you really want to start designing uh, twisty puzzles like this, I would highly advise watching their videos. The program which we're gonna be using for designing twisty puzzles is a free online program called Onshape that's sort of similar to Google Drive. Now, it does cost money to have an Onshape account, but if you're a student or if you put all your files as public instead of private, then it, you can get it for free. Now, you don't have to know everything about Onshape, but I'd suggest watching uh, at least the first few tutorials that they have uh, on their website as soon as you create an account. And I'd also advise that you look at Nico and Dario's tutorial on how to use Onshape in their Puzzle on CAD series that they're doing right now. Now, after you've sort of familiarized yourself with Onshape, the next thing you're going to want to do is sort of familiarize yourself with the basic concepts of puzzle design. Matt Bonner's series of tutorials is a great way to do that. Now you don't need to watch all of the videos, um, just like the first three or four ones, but if you want to watch the rest of them, feel free to do that. Matt's tutorials are actually what taught me how to do puzzle design, so if you have the time, you should def uh, definitely give that series uh, a watch through. I'm going to be posting the next video in this series next week. So I'd suggest watching through at least some of the videos which I have uh, listed uh, just so you can get a head start and so you're a little bit uh, more in tuned to twisty puzzle design before we start. Anyhow guys, I'm really excited about this series of tutorials and I hope you guys are too. If you want to get notified when the next video comes out in this tutorial, make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell next to that so you can get notifications. And I will see you in the next video.